what we are doing here today i don't need to say much we are trying to what create um a list view in a custom dialog so that is the reason why you must be watching this video okay so let's just go to zitos project store to get a quick simple project okay if you don't have the zitos project store the link will be down in the description so as you could see the um the swb here the item here list view in a custom dialog if you can't find it or maybe when you are watching it i will i might have added a lot more projects just click and um, simply click on this search icon here and type list view it will bring out all project on list view as you can see this view and it searches it automatically okay it searches it automatically okay don't just don't add space to it just type list view okay so once you type list view as you can see store alphabetically store by new um, by new to old store by old to new replace item in list view with another item um, so what we are actually looking for here is list view in a custom dialog we we'll click on list view in a custom dialog once we we'll click on list view in a custom dialog as you can see what is going on here um this was the block used so also download the block here just click here download the block for all the block used for the project will be listed there then you download the, the block so i don't need to download the block okay i already have it on my sketch where okay sorry for clicking my ads oh uh, they just give you some few minutes okay once you have done download downloading the um block you also download the project then also if you don't want to download the block from there you could also come here same thing you type um look for the block here fragment dialog as you can see this is here you can also search it i will fragment dialog do the same process download it so let's go back to this project so once we download it i added an upgrade to the zitos project store so it has an open button so you can open it directly from here which means you can import it to our sketch web project by just clicking one button okay click to sketch web pro then it works it imports the projects for us directly okay so let's go back to the main reason why we are here to learn how to do it ourselves mm -hmm. right welcome guys welcome back guys so today i'll be showing you how to create a list view inside a dialog so without wasting most of our time please subscribe to my channel if you have not and also like and comment okay if you have any question you can join us on the telegram group on the whatsapp group which the link will be found in our project store to the group zitos project store and also will be in the video description below so without much to do this is just the, a text view linear which is not important in this project because what we are about to do here is just a simple project that needs only this button here okay so as you can see this is my main activity okay my main x activity.xml so when i click on this button what should happen we we'll select the dialog from a fragment activity okay you know if it was in the previous dialog which i did i used something like custom dialog right to show the activity but in this in this project here in this project what we're going to be using is fragment activity so as you can see here this is a fragment activity a dialog fragment activity so how did i do it i click on this plus sign here okay i added an activity let me call it list view let me call it dialog dialog okay let me put another g here then here make sure you select fragment dialog as you can see they have fragments at the type activity fragments fragment dialog select fragment dialog okay select fragment dialog then you add it so after we've done that let me delete this bar because i already have a fragment dialog created already so let me go and just quickly delete that okay delete let me go back to 
our main activity okay so you open that to your fragment dialog that you created which is here once you open that your fragment dialog that you created as you can see here i created a linear here okay please pay attention this is the most important part in this video if you miss any part in this particular aspect of this video the list view will be crashing okay or it won't display at all make sure you set your first linear very important your first linear which you um which you dropped down this is my linear two but actually it's meant that is okay so this is my linear one here so this first linear this first linear here linear one let me get it right on track because it is very very important for this video so this is my linear one which is the first linear that cover that has that is in control of other linears which other linears are inside it so that first linear please make sure you set it pardon to it just leave it at normal settings okay make sure the gravity is set to normal um both the layout just leave it there don't give it center gravity or center horizontal don't give it that don't even give it a weight there let's just just be match pair they have to be match parent length should be match parent then in the linear two also match parent length match parent hope you guys have seen it padding zero hope you guys have seen it hope you guys have seen it so what we're actually doing here then is on this main activity when this button one is clicked okay what does it do we'll use this custom block here let me for the custom block sorry guys uh, yes wait okay um i have a lot of blocks here wait let me look for the block fragment activity this is a custom file button so guys this is it here so what we did here is we select the activity in which you want to show the dialog right here we are not yet showing the um list view we are just selecting the activity in which you want to show the dialog which is what our a b c d dialog fragment activity so which is this activity right here that i told you guys to create a fragment activity which is this abcd dialog fragment activity as you can see it here so in that abc dialog um, fragment activity i was that is where i was that is where i added my list view are you seeing it guys i did my list view here then i gave it access it to a custom list view when this list i said it's a custom so you assist its custom view to hello which is this custom dialog custom view here as you see you could see this view this custom so this is it here the custom list view so let's go back to our fragment activity so then we'll go to our unbind custom view after we've set our custom view to that hello then we'll go to our unbind custom view in that fragment activity so when we go to our unbind custom view as you could see what you did here text view one text view two the text view one here and this text view two here as you could see here there's no text view here do you know why you are still seeing text view even though there's no text view here because the text you are using is from this unbind this is on custom view this text view one and this text view two and this is linear one so that's why we want we added a custom view for this list view from here sorry from here so if we did not do this you won't be able to even see our unbind custom view in which means we won't be able to see the text view one and the text view two okay so make sure you set it then let's go back to our unbind custom view so this is our unbind custom view text view one and text view two okay 
Let's go back. So let's go to on our on our ABCD fragment dialog. Let's go back to our on create there. So on creating the activity, we'll put this fragment block there. This oh god. Sorry guys, just having a lot of block here. So we'll put this in the uncreate dialog. This means let you are setting the cancelable either to be false or to be true. If we put this in false, we won't be able to cancel the dialog. Okay, when you are tapping everywhere, the dialog won't dismiss. But if we set that to true here, if we set that to true here. So you can also use this. We'll set that to true here. It means we will be able to cancel the dialogue when you click on the edges of the um, screen of, of your screen. So what I also added there was a I added a repeat block here. I added sorry let me get rid of this. So I added a repeat block here. This repeat block will just repeat this the amount of times that it is written here so i told it to repeat this code here three times like this list view it should repeat it three times which means i'll be having each of these a will be repeated three times and b will be repeated three times which was the key and the value will be also there three times so we'll be able to get our list uh, map to a list yes so we we'll added the map this map we created here we added this map into this list map here so we'll be able to display it in a list view so this was the map we added the map we took the map to a list map okay so this is what is called a map variable so to um, add a variable we named it map okay map map but I know by now you should have, you should have known how to use your list view, okay? How to use list maps. So uh, you added your list map. So I've already created the variable named map, which was this here map, okay? Then I created um, I created a, a list map named map H. You click on this list, add the list map, name it. Click on map, map, name it map H. H. so the name is already as already exists so i can't use it again so i added this repeat block here if i remove this repeat block this will be will be only um written once in our list view so i added it here in this repeat block to repeat it three times so that we we'll have a longer values okay then this refresh block was just added in a more block i created a more block i named it refresh that was just to add the list view, let to combine the list view one with the um, list map, okay? To bind the list view one with the list map page and also refresh the data, okay, on creating the activity. That's what I did here in onCreate. So, I add, also added a button here, a cancel button to cancel the dialogue, okay? So, you put this block here, the last block here. Dialog fragment dismiss. Add it to anywhere you want when you click for the dialog to be dismissed. Okay. When we are done with that, you could also easily just put on this linear clicked, then dialog dismiss. Just anywhere of your choice. So let's uh don't forget to turn on our unbind custom view. Okay. Unbind custom view. Sorry, let's go to on our um, app compact and designed. Okay, app compact and designed. After we've done that, um, let's run this project to get this block which we use for this project. You can find the block in Zito's project store. Just give me a few seconds. Let's head on to Zito's project store while our app is building. Okay, let's hang on. Uh, hang, um, I'm so tired. I haven't slept. I work late at night. Let's go back to um, Zito's project store. Okay. We'll go to blocks. Okay. 
uh, we look for fragments dialogue custom dialogue fragments dialogue this is it here guys fragment dialogue we we'll download it okay this is the block here guys fragment dialogue we can also get the projects from Zito's project store which I will show you guys um, in this video but let's just run the app to see if our APK is going to build okay sorry guys for the misuse of words I'm just tired okay so our app is still running then we can open it now as you can see let's click on show is what is happening here are you seeing it guys so thank you guys for watching in our next video in our next video i'll be showing you guys how to um i'll show you guys how to add um web view in a custom dialogue uh, which is a fragment dialogue. I'll also teach you guys how to create your own ads, how to sh pop, show your pop-up ads in your own app without using other people's site, which means someone can pay you um, money um, or revenue to show you his or her ads on your app. So you won't be needing ad network, okay? That's what I'll be showing you guys in the next video, which I'll also be releasing today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.